When my hand moves back, that was enough retreat, okay? Okay. Now I'm the petty. And all the time, you pull me. Stop. So if one leg moves six inches, he's not stopped anymore, okay? So is he stopped? No. So I stop him and I say, whoa again. Did you see how I just did that? Yeah. Yeah, you know, when I want to back up, I'm going to say back. And then I'm going to click. See how easy he's moving? Tell, I always verbal step up, big step, big step back, back, the big step back up, big step. There you go. You're gonna have to tell me what you can do with back, <laughs> back, the big things. I tell my horse when he's gonna step up. Now see, I'm doing the exact same back thing. See, I push him back. See our space. We have it, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Tell me when he's not whoa. This is what I want you to start writing. Oh. Again, I'm vulnerable, okay? Vulnerable if I get back there. So if he backs up, I stay in an unvulnerable spot. Whoa, he's got to stop his feet. Tell me every time you see one foot move six inches. Okay, there he stood good for me. See that? Whoa, see, did he move? I stopped him. I'm not being rude, am I? No. It just no. means don't move. Whoa. Good, I'm in the safe spot. Okay, if he moves a leg, he's not stopped anymore. So I'll say, whoa, and just stop his leg. Okay, now did he move a leg? Yeah. He did. <laughs> yeah, back again, here. You're noticing. That's what I want you. I just want you to catch that, okay? When he moves a leg, I want you to notice it move. Okay. When he's got them all back on the ground again, he's back in compliance. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so now when I lead him, I, I don't, I'm not going to lead him right here close. I always lead him about that much rope between me and them, and I turn and I walk. Walk on. If he goes to go around Walk me, I'll on. up an arm and I'll pull him back behind me. If he crowds me, he's in my space. So I say, whoa, and I push him back out of my space again. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Now walk on. Again, I'm going to give him a couple off from there. Now we're, he's holding my space. You see the difference? Put that hand up, put him back behind me. If he's too close, I'll go, whoa, back up. Push him back out of my space again. Oh. Did he move? Okay, you were open. You're right. Yep. So I'm pushing him back. Whoa. If you're going to treat him, he has to have all the feet on the ground. So it's whoa. Now he's standing good. I can take and give him a treat out of a bucket. Out of a bucket, okay. When I take that bucket away, he is not supposed to follow the bucket. <laughs> he knew. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Okay. He's not supposed to go find that bucket. I'm going to give him that bucket when he's in compliance. And I don't bribe him. I treat them, but I don't bribe them. Right. I reward them, but not bribe, okay? Right. Bribe is where I go, come on, please. I don't do that. Walk on. I'm going to show you That's good. some different ways to get in and Putting in a stall, I'll show you how to catch him next. Okay. Walk on. Yeah. If I come into a path like this, I always turn them around. I never just let them go. Then I stand by, where's the, where am I not vulnerable? Shoulder. Shoulder, yeah. Right here. 
See how I'm going to let go of that thing? I'm going to have him tip his nose toward me one inch or two, and then I'm going to turn him off. Right there. I didn't have him leave me. I left him. Did you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very important, that step. Yeah. You're the boss. Did you bit? Yeah, I did. A little bugger. <laughs> okay, so I don't, if I was having a problem catching him, mm -hmm. you, this know. may happen. Yeah. Yeah. Scenario. I go out one day, he doesn't want to get caught. Okay? Mm -hmm. I would take a grain bucket and put this little grain in it. I would come out. I would make him fall at least a little while. I said, whoa, whoa. No, he can't come and get it. Whoa. He's got to what? Now, what has he got to do first? All four feet. There. Now I'll give it to him. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take it away, and I'm not going to catch him. See how he moved away from me? That's because mm -hmm. a lot of people have used a grain bucket too, okay? I'm not going to capture him. I'm just going to turn and walk away. Here's where I'll whistle if I want to come. Okay, now I'm going to stop, let him walk right up here. If he doesn't come, I'll sit here. He's going to come, though. He can't stand. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Right now, the point of his shoulders where I'm still going to touch if I go to him. Let's say he's standing right next to him. I'm going to come out with the point of his shoulder. I'm going to touch him. I'm going to step back. See how he won? See how he moved away? I'm going to touch him again. Whoa. Okay, now see I went to move, I'm just going to step back. Oh. This is how, what I'll do if I, if I was to have a day where I was having a difficult time. He has to let me touch him with that shoulder, keeping his feet on the ground. Now I treat him. Did you see how I did that? I didn't. Yeah. I didn't hold the bucket there saying, please come here. Then I'd walk out of there. Then I'd come back in with the holder and get him. All right, then he's up to you again. Okay, and now I got a bug. <laughs> but I didn't ever capture him, okay? Yeah. You didn't chase him down. Hey, and I, and right. I didn't ever grab him. Yeah. Okay? Now, I might walk off. If I've been out there and I'm a little frustrated, I might just turn my butt around and go to the house. Mm -hmm. Come back out and call in a minute. So now I'm going to go actually show you how I would catch him. Okay. And I'll go. And again, this is, I hope this is helping you because I want to oh, see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This, this is a very successful zebra and I want to see a very successful program. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So the, little, the time I'm taking is really worth it to me. And I love this little shit. Yeah, because I, I mean, yeah, we, we appreciate it. film movies and music videos and stuff, and I want to be able to do some stuff with him, you know? Well, you can. I just got to sure. know how to handle him, yeah. And the big thing is, what's the most important word? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> most important in your dictionary is whoa. That means put all your feet on the ground and don't move. Shooting a music video, something starts going bad, you go, whoa, and he stops. Yeah. yeah. You just barely saved yourself a wreck. Yeah. Okay. If he doesn't stop, well, not so much. <laughs> so, woe is the most important word you're going to use in your vocabulary. Okay? Now I'm going to walk back out here. Where's the least vulnerable spot? Shoulder. So, when I first approach him, I'm going to approach his shoulder. Okay? And they call him Xander, but I call him Z-Man. He's <laughs> Z-Man to me, so that's what he is. I like Z. Huh? I like the name Z. That's what I call him. Okay, see how he's walking away from me? I hear there's no sense chasing him, so I'm going to slower than he's doing. I'm going to come out here, when he stops, I'm going to stop. Or when he turns toward me, I'll stop. You see that? Come here, Z man. Okay, if I'm going to follow, I, again, I don't crowd him. Look at him. Now, when he turned toward me, I released the pressure by giving him a little space, and he's going to come right over here now. Hmm. That's cool. Okay, now, point of his shoulder, you know where I'm trying to get, right? Really yeah. Initial touch. Always back up after the initial touch. Give him some room. Say that was good. Okay? 
Okay? Now I'm not threatening his face. Okay, he moved, so now I gotta do a new initial touch. Right. Remember, and don't get impatient with this at all and you'll never have a problem, okay? Okay. Okay, so here he comes again. See how he turned toward me? I'll step back. Now I'm just gonna walk out, point of his shoulder. The closer I get, especially the last six inches, I actually slow down. Now see how I move? I'm just gonna stay here. I'm gonna move right there. Here's where I told you he'll present his butt sometimes first, okay? As long as there, when he looked at me, I'm gonna step back and if you'll do this consistently pretty quick, he's not offering his butt near as much as he used to, okay? When mm -hmm. I first got him, I had to do that quite a bit. Now, see how I moved? I didn't try to stop him, did I? Mm -mm. I couldn't, because if I'd have stopped him, he captured him. Okay? Yeah. So now I'm gonna go over there and I'm actually gonna put my paws on him. So I'm just showing you the do's and the don'ts. Right okay, here. good. Okay, now this time I'm gonna walk here, right behind his shoulder. He moves, I'm gonna move with him. Okay? He's like, he's trying to take me back to the vet. <laughs> Again, this is the most vulnerable spot you're going to see him, right? Because the last time I caught him, I put him on a trailer and sent him to the vet to get blood drawn. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now here again, I'm going to walk out here. The closer I get, the slower I move. Oh. If he goes left, I don't get closer. I actually get a little bit away from him. We stop, step back. if you need to go to, I don't care if you're late, yeah. pull, change this or you're going to end up in a problem. Okay. The people before us capture him. We've got his confidence now, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. If you go to capture him, he's going to remember what they were doing, not what we do. How long has he been here? From the other we, we've had him about, we've had him on and off for five months. Uh-huh. We've had him long enough to really put together kind of a cool little deal with him, eh? Yeah. And again, getting his confidence. You can't make one give his confidence, okay? Touch his shoulder. Put my hand back. Now, see there? He backed up. If he moves, I can follow him, but not faster than he's walking. That little quick said walk. I know. <laughs> I gotta get unused to that. It's awesome. And you gotta stop there. You <laughs> is that a ball right there? Or is it a rock? It's a ball. Now I'm gonna step back again. You know, speed stop. When he moved, I moved away from him and across. Okay, I own him now. I'm in the position right now where, right there, if he stopped, I step back. Now I'm going to step right to the point of his shoulder, even though I'm coming from the same angle. He moves forward sideways, I'll move sideways and away from him, not sideways forward. This initial catch, there was my initial touch. You see it? Now I don't grab him. You see how my hand moved over here without grabbing him? No time did I ever make him stay here, did I? No. I haven't grabbed him yet, right? Yeah. Okay, now that I've got the holder on him, now I've changed, now I can pet down his sides. And what this rope's for is to keep him from leaving. Don't, don't think about it as something that keeps him here. Think about it as something that keeps him from leaving. So if his feet move, I'll pull the rope. Again, I walk around in front of him, whoa. If his feet move, I'll pull the rope. If his feet stay still, I'll just stand there. How cool? 
pulls out. So now he backed up, I go whoa again, and I'm going to pet him again. Now, and on this is a progression. Now I'm going to take him in and give him a bite of grain. Now he worked for his. Reward him. Yeah. This is a reward, not a bribe. Did you see that? Yeah. This is where I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. This this is what I would. This is how I would do it. If it's hard for me to get a hold of it. Now, can he take that grain from me? No. no. I have to give it to him. Whoa. I got the bucket. You can't come up. Whoa. Right here. Push him back. Don't let him take your space. Whoa. Now I can give it to him. Okay, do not let him take it from you. Because okay. that's the dominant deal. Okay? Good boy. You're awesome. Go ahead and just take this, keep it. Go pet him. He's full of shit. Okay. Keep him. No, don't click don't at do him. That. that tells him to leave. <laughs> that's awesome. Say whoa. Whoa. And again, you take that and hold it about this short. You pull it like that, and then you're in control. You get there. Now just pet down this whoa. Whoa. Stop him from leaving. Let go. Whoa. Now walk over there and pet him. Don't hold him. Just use that for now. Pet down his whole side. Pet down his whole side. So stay close. Get close to him. Get right up there and enjoy him. I want to get used to my voice. How does he like to be talked to? Just any way you want to is okay. Does but he the like big any thing. Scratching spots or anything? Yeah, he likes. He he really likes. He's really affectionate. I'm just showing you the do's and the don'ts of how to keep yeah, him this way. That's what we need. Okay, after you pet down that side, where does the other hand need to be if you're petting oh, with one hand? Right Take the lead rope and put it in the same hand and hold it. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> put it under my arm. And again, see, he's a little long. You couldn't stop it's not a bulldog. From there. Get it short enough where he, he can't, a little teeny bit more to where if he went to go, you could stop him. There. Now don't pull it. Now pet down the side. Now that's how I would have it if I was handling him, okay? Oh. Good. Now, remember, his feet move. That's what you worry about, not his head. Okay. Keep him from leaving. Okay, walk around in front of him, handle the other side. Whoa. Whoa. Back to the point of his shoulder. Touch him, step back. Okay. And now step back. Now, step on in there and pet him. One hand on him, whatever hand you're not petting him with, hold that hand on him. There you go. That's unvulnerable right there. You're going to feel him move now, okay? Make sense? Yes. Yeah, it's great. He's a little fat. He is cool. He is a little fat. <laughs> I can feel fat rolling right here. He's cool. No, that's okay. You can do that. As long as you have a hand on him, just change hand. Now put your lead rope in your other hand and pet him with your other hand. See, you still got... You still got a hand on him. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Your lead rope hand's still on him, so you can still feel him move. Good boy. Okay, now I want you to step back away from him, and you're going to get him some grain when he stands. Okay. Step right back up here, take the grain bucket. Push him back away from you. Push him away. Whoa. Let off. Whoa. Whoa. Push him away. Whoa. There it is. Whoa. Push him away. Push him away. Push him away. Now say what? Let off. That was great. There you go. Okay? Now take it away. After he gets a mouthful, just take it away and put it back on the table. We'll go turn him loose. I think that's a mouthful. Good boy. Okay. Alright. Okay, just take it away. Take it away. Just take it away. Just take it away. Yeah, there. That's when you're going to take it away, it's your choice. It's your decision, not his, okay? Good boy. Not cool. Good boy. Okay, now I'm going to go turn him loose again, and Trevor's going to go catch him. Okay. He'll reward him with grain after he does it. Now, whether this comes easy or hard, look at that. Now, again, the initial touch is always smell, touch, put your hand back. See that? Now, the point of the shoulder is the safe spot. He moves. Trevor's just going to move slower than him and away from him and across him. Now when the zebra stops, Trevor's going to give him more room. Now he's just going to stand again. Again, this is the first initial touch. Anytime you break that. Now Trev just did something to move that zebra. What did he do? The last six inches, he didn't slow down going to that oh, nose. Did you see that? Okay. 
That's what you wanted to do when you touched that first horse. Right. Okay? Don't close that last six inches fast. Now see, he's going left and right. Staying away from me. It's like a whole little dance. This this is like I said, this is as bad as it should be, but we're showing you where, what's really great he's giving us a chance to show you what you do it if he's not if you don't he's just walk it. Again he's into the initial touch, okay? He needs to touch that zebra, step back, then approach it. Okay, he just touched it. Now he needs to step back. Now he can go over there without grabbing its neck. He can go over there and he can slip that lead rope back on it. See how he's not grabbing it? Very, very important. You can see the zebra let him catch him. Now that, that other horse just nipped at the zebra and moved him. Yeah. But again, what Trevor say? Whoa. And he just stood there and kept that zebra. Again, that, that lead rope was to keep that zebra from leaving. Yeah. Not to keep him here. Yeah, you might want to move her. Okay, we'll go. Okay, that makes sense to you? Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, let's go riding. <laughs>